So my name is Yassine Daboon. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and uh, super happy to be here, Patagonia. I mean, what's not to love about this place? The people here are great. The mountains are just surreal, beautiful. Um, happy to start my off season <laughs> after a busy uh, season of racing. So it was a, it was a good run today. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm normally used to running so many more trails where you're looking down all the time and this is because it was on the gravel roads it was I w and it was so open I was able to see just the amazing landscapes and vistas the whole day and had a little bit of a rough race but uh, it was good to see you out there Max and you have uh, like any specific problem I mean like yeah, you were so training something with the hip uh, yeah so um, Race started off really fast with Ryan Sands and Billy Barnett, and we re all ran together through 20K, and I started feeling a little hitch yeah. in my hip flexor. You were flying over there. Yeah, you were, we were like we really were killing it. We were killing yeah. it, and you know, part of me was thinking, oh boy, I'm still with Ryan Sands at 20K. I think I might be going a little bit too hard, but you know, right then I started feeling a little pain in my hip. And uh, it was just kind of rubbing, inflamed a little bit. And so I kind of pushed off the pace a little bit. And I think I may have changed my gait a little bit. So then my hamstring on my left side, on the opposite side, started hurting as well. Um, a short good. while after that, my stomach started hurting. Uh, and, you know, I started kind of getting into these negative mindset places. But then I would just look up around there was one section of the course where we saw these like white horses just running on the hillside it was amazing um the uh guayacos is that what they're called guayacos yeah uh, the guayacos guanacos they're, guanacos, oh. they're kind of like uh, llamas or alpacas yeah. running all over yeah. the place uh so and then you came past me and gave me some good words of encouragement <laughs> which was helpful um Thank you. and congrats on your win but uh yeah just kind of had to muscle it to the finish line yeah. today, you know, I was... You have a rough day out there. Yeah, yeah it wasn't my best race, yeah. but... Even though you, you came in theater, so pretty good, yeah? Yeah, it wasn't my best race, but it was definitely probably the most beautiful race I've ever run. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> That's no problem. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking to do some, uh, some fast packing uh, the next few days, maybe the circuit or the W. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. That sounds very fun. You have like maybe a changing of subject, like for the next season of you, like what are you looking for? You have like a, this race in mind, you know, or some personal project, I don't know, like a big adventure or anything you want to talk about it? So the kind of the last couple of years, my key event has been Western States 100 miler. Yeah. Uh, which you nailed it this year? Which I nailed yeah. it and I got on the top 10. So I'm, I feel a little bit obligated to go back and yeah. so I'm going you back. You must go I'm back. Going, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going back. So that's going to be kind of my main race. And then probably do, I raced a lot this year and traveled and I, I think I'm going to do less of that in 2014 and maybe focus more on like a few big races and then maybe some adventures as well uh, I attempted to do the Oregon PCT this year and I didn't make it but I kind of yeah. like to do some more adventures along the lines of it's like self-supported type stuff yeah, yeah there's just so much out there yeah. to do and sometimes I get caught up in racing so yeah, much yeah. all the time you know yeah. so you would like to have some time for doing your own things you know yeah exactly yeah, yeah, so cool. uh, looking forward to that um, yeah, thinking about maybe Zane Gray 50 miler in Arizona. Um, Which is super rough from what I hear. It's pretty technical. Pretty technical, yeah. 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 Not much vertical gain, but really technical. Yeah, it's got a pretty fair amount of vertical gain as well, yeah. but um, it's probably one of the toughest 50 milers yeah. in the United States. Yeah. Like seven hours for you, the fast guys? Yeah, maybe even a little slower. Wow. <laughs> cool. Another change of subject. You are vegan. Can you talk a, a little bit? I mean, I, I don't want an, an, an essay of that, but why sure. you are a vegan or, or whatever. Um, yeah. How is like being an archer runner and being a vegan, you know? It's actually not that hard. It's definitely very easy being vegan in uh, Portland, Oregon, where I live. It's probably the most vegan-friendly city in the yeah. world. Yeah. Uh, I started uh, about five years ago as an experiment, and in short, it works really well for me. Mm -hmm. 
and continues to work well for me in a lot of ways. So, uh, you know, it's difficult uh, traveling. It's been diff yeah. a little difficult here in Chile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, no, in Chile we don't have like a, as many as possibility you have in there. You know, you go to a right. restaurant and, and there's no like, maybe you went find a vegan plate, you know, so you are kind of like, no, it's not easy at all. So, exactly, yeah. yeah. But, but for, you don't eat anything of meat. I haven't eaten meat in like five years. Uh, I had a little bit last night because <laughs> that, that yeah, I mean, choice. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a little yeah, bit yeah, in course. the sauce, yeah. uh, spaghetti sauce, yeah. but I don't uh, tend to eat any animal products. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not, you know, perfect. It, you know, it happens every now and then. But usually, it's usually a little bit of dairy or butter, or um, maybe a little bit of cheese here and there. You know, it's it's funny. I've lost the taste of it. I never thought I could be a vegan. I never thought I could be a vegetarian. I never thought I could give up cheese. And uh, now, and here I, we are, five years after. Five years yeah. later, and I've lost the taste for it. Yeah. I don't like it anymore, which is which is weird. I just never cool. thought that I would lose the taste for cheese, especially. <laughs> awesome. So, so yeah, it works for me. I feel good. I feel clean you feel thin man you are super thin so <laughs> you're fast that's because i run yeah, so much yeah yeah <laughs> too but yeah yeah but but being a vegan is like you look like really thin you know i mean i like ryan sanis is thin but it's not as thin as you you know I well think like, partly is i mean because of my body type i mean yeah too yeah yeah definitely I mean, yeah yeah but being a vegan i have it has an influence like in your body you know i mean i i have uh I have a healthy amount of body fat. I've, you know, I've been been to the doctor. I get all my vitamins and nutrients through plant-based diet. Um, you know, you haven't seen me with my shirt off, man. I got some muscles, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I believe you, man. No, but I think you know part of it is is like that. I mean, I don't eat a lot of. Um, you know, saturated fats and, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Um, you try to have a healthy diet. I'm a, I live a highly active lifestyle as well yeah. as for part of my job and yeah. as part of uh, running all the time. Yeah. So that combined with a plant-based diet, yeah, definitely leaves me pretty lean. 